here's all the ingredients. I'm gonna go over them with you. And I have my pan here. It's all greased up, ready to go. My oven is preheated at 400. And um, I like um, to use uh, Bob's Red Mill uh, gluten-free all-purpose flour. And we have uh, one and uh, one fourth cup. And we do have a yellow cornmeal, um, but I couldn't find gluten-free to save my life anywhere. <laughs> so um, I found this one here and uh, at the supermarket. So I just went ahead and got that one. It is uh, white corn. So we're gonna use that today. And that is one cup. And then I have my organic uh, Trader Joe's sugar. And that is two thirds cup of a teaspoon of salt, a half of a teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon in here uh, versus baking powder. I'd like to use that better. And in, you can use um, granola oil, but I prefer to use applesauce with my baking. So that is one third cup of applesauce. You can replace that with granola oil if you'd like. And then I have uh, one and one fourth cup of almond milk. Um, I like to use vanilla. Uh, you can use unsweetened, plain, um, but I prefer um, to use that. So that's what I use. So we're gonna put all our dry ingredients in the bowl and mix them up. And then we're gonna add our wet, mix them up. We're gonna put it in the pan and bake it for anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes after checking it. Along with the dry, you're gonna add your half a table spoon of uh, lemon in there also. And then you're gonna go ahead and just stir that all in and then add your almond milk, one fourth cup of almond milk and um, one third cup of applesauce. We are ready to go in the oven and I always like to put a little heart. It makes it taste better. <laughs> We're gonna check it in 20 minutes. See you soon, little cornbread. We're all done. And look how beautiful that looks. It came out perfect, the cornbread. You can still see the heart. <laughs> You're gonna love this cornbread recipe. Thank you for watching.